I bought over 40 untested Xbox 360 consoles and a couple of them had the Red Ring of Death. So in this video, we're going to see if we can revive either of these consoles with the infamous Bolt mod. So guys, welcome to a bonus episode of the Texas Load. So guys, I have two 360s here. It's been quite a while since I've tested them out. So let's go ahead and just start by plugging them in and see what happens and make sure they still have the Red Ring of Death. Now we'll start with the Black Elite console here and flip into the back. You can see it has a, a manufacturer date of 2007 Falcon motherboard. Well, let's plug it in and see if it turns on. Yep, there it is. All right. So Red Ring of Death pops up pretty immediately. We have the three lights. Now to get our secondary error code, which gives us a little bit more info, we hold down the sync button and the eject button. We can see we have a zero, one, zero, two. <laughs> now the funny part about this video is we're using an, an iFixit bolt mod kit that I bought a week ago. Guys, they're still selling these bolt mod kits in 2024, which we'll get into a bit more specifics on what a bolt mod kit is later in the video. But we're just gonna start by opening up this iFixit kit here and see what they sent us. Inside of here we have, yep, Xbox 360 <laughs> Red Ring of Death kit. It's actually got all the tools I need, I guess, like the opening tool, some screwdrivers, thermal paste, but we'll put that to the side for now. And we'll go ahead and test out the uh, white 360 I have here and see if that one still has the Red Ring of Death. So we have a manufacture date of, actually that's a service date of 2009. So this thing was probably manufactured in like 05, 06. Looks like it's a Xenon console from the power port. But let's plug this one in and see what it does. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Dude, first of all, this console is actually not Red Ringing yet and it's got a free game inside, which I apparently did not find earlier. Oh no, there it is. It's got the Red Ring of Death again. Uh, at least I could open up the disk drive though. But let's go ahead and try to get our secondary error code. All right, so we got zero, zero, Two, two. Um, let me just try to turn it off and on one more time to see if it works. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. There it goes. Oh, it's booting. It's probably going to red ring in just a second here, but let me go ahead and just see if I can at least explore for a second. Nice, dude. Let's go. You know, I'll just put this to the side and see how long it runs on its own, and then we'll, uh, we'll take apart the black Xbox 360 and start uh, trying to repair it. All right, so opening this up, we first have a screwdriver. Dude, this is like actually a hefty screwdriver and it's got a nice bit here. Got your Phillips head and your flat head. Dude, this is like actually nice. This is a nice screwdriver, what in the world? And you can see in here we have the <laughs> infamous Xbox 360 opening tool. And then they also gave us some thermal paste. Oh, that's a little heat sink. Interesting, so maybe they want me to put a heat sink on something. <laughs> we also have our bolts and our washers for our the actual bolt mod. And then we have some thermal um, thermal pads for some of the chips on the board. But yeah, let's put this stuff to the side. And I actually first want to take a look at this, this black 360. And by the way, this white 360 over here is still running, surprisingly. Let's go ahead and start by taking off the side pieces here. Like so, cool. And oh no, <laughs> this console's already had a bolt mod. Are you serious? <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. All right, so <laughs> I can tell this console's had a bolt mod because uh, we are missing our eight black screws here. So when they're gone, you know it's been bolt modded. All right, pour the motherboard out, and yep, sure enough, <laughs> already got a bolt mod applied. So in case you don't know what the bolt mod is, uh, basically, you take the X, X clamps off. So uh, traditionally, there's an X clamp right here and right here that applies uh, pressure at all four of these points, plus some pressure in the middle where the chip is. So basically, people would swap out the X clamps with bolts, and then they'd crank the bolts down as hard as possible, and it would fix the Red Ring of Death, at least temporarily. Now, you might as well smash your 360 if you're going to do the bolt mod, because it does not last very long, and you might as well smash that like button as well. But since this console already has a bolt mod, we can't do another bolt mod on it. So I need to buy another 360 and then I'll come back when I have that. Do you want a free game like Call of Duty Black Ops, Mario Kart, or Super Smash Bros? Well, if you do, hit that link down below, sign up for whatnot. You'll get any of my games under $15, 100% free, no tax, no shipping, 100% free. So go check it out. Got a bunch of other games as well. And I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, I'm back. I uh, bought a couple more Red Ring of Death consoles from eBay. Hopefully they don't already have the Bolt mod. But let's open them up and see what's inside. Oh man, I forgot I bought this. So I <laughs> this is kind of like a double whammy right here. It's not only a console with Red Ring of Death. It's it's painted, I guess. It looks like camo. But uh, yeah, let's just start by plugging this bad boy in and see what it does. All right, three, two, one. Got power. Oh wow, that was just an immediate Red Ring. Not did not even try to boot up. All right, let's get the secondary code here. Zero, 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 one. Great, so 0001 is typically a power supply issue. So it's either my power supply, which I know it's not because I just used it and it worked, or it's uh, probably bad caps in the console. So it's not even a problem I can fix the bolt mod with. Oh man, of course. All right, let's put this to the side and open up this one. The faceplate blew off of this one as I was taking it out and another little piece fell off as well. That's great. Looks like it's been opened up before. Uh, this one looks a bit more normal, except for the fact that the hard drive is <laughs> clearly a knockoff. Oh no. It's got a GameStop sticker. Dude, this, this console 100% has already been bolt modded. Oh my gosh. What kind of luck am I having here? All right, let's plug it in and see what happens. 
All right, powered on. Okay, well it's, oh, nope, there it goes. Wait, hold on. We got a one ringer here. Hold on, hold on. Let's see what the code is. Hold on, hold on. E68 is, might be bad hard drive, which makes sense because we have a junk third party hard drive here. All right, all right let's, let's, let's turn off our console here. Let's pull off this hard drive. <laughs> there it is, right to the home menu. Let's go, dude. Uh, at this point, <laughs> I'm not really sure exactly what to do. This, this console's working, so there's no need to bolt mod it. That console has an issue that's not related to the bolt mod at all. Um, my other consoles don't need a bolt mod. I have one more console coming later today that hopefully <laughs> has the correct ring of, red ring of death, and we'll try a bolt mod on that, maybe. All right, guys, I have yet another red ring of death Xbox 260 that I bought from eBay. Just arrived. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. This console actually looks pretty clean overall, I'd say. If you flip into the back, you can see manufacturer 2006, definitely a Xenon motherboard, no HDMI at all. Um, let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it, <laughs> see if it red rings. All right, three, two, one. We got power. Let me just go ahead and check the eject. Is <laughs> it open up? Oh, oh, okay, no free games. No red ring yet. Oh, 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 hold on. Yikes. Okay, so this console just straight up overheats. <laughs> you can see here we have uh, two rings, which is an overheating error. Let me see if they give me any secondary error code here. Okay, so looking it up, it looks like it's just uh, basically overheating of the CPU, um, which is what we expected there. I think this is a perfect candidate for the <laughs> the bolt mod fix to see what it does to it. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy apart, take a closer look at it, and finally apply this bolt mod and <laughs> see if it fixes the issue. So actually, real quick before we open this console up, I want to take the, uh, I basically took the hard drive off of it and put it on a working console so we can explore the hard drive real quick and see what's on it. And we already booted up here. We got Biddy 999 Blob 167, Bookster, something joker slinging slinging boat what is going on here let's try out this guy gonzo all the way what is that dude that profile picture that might actually be a picture of this guy dude can you, can you do that on the 360 i don't know but it's definitely like a it looks like a picture of a guy colored in red uh you only got one chance do it right gonzo all the way scottsville virginia down by the jaw down by the the river we got a different way of getting done with it gun done would work okay this guy's going wild on this 360. All right, let's go ahead and uh, check out his profile here. We got Halo Reach last played in 2012. Uh, so presumably the console broke in 2012 and that's when he sold it, gave it a goodwill. I don't even know where this console came from. I just bought it from eBay. All right, all the other ones have nothing on them. So let's go ahead and turn this console off, open up the other one and try to apply the bolt mod now. All right, got the bottom piece off. Unfortunately, there is no bolt mod here. So we're safe on that front. But let's uh, let's keep opening it up now. All right, so opening this console up, the uh, let me just go ahead and get the disk drive out. But the first thing you notice is the heat sinks are just absolutely caked in dust, which could be honestly our issue. Um, you can just see, especially this heat sink right here, the really tall one is just like absolutely caked in dust. I, I don't think that would make your console overheat immediately, but let me go ahead and blow it out, turn it back on, make sure that's not the issue. And then if it's not, we'll go down and bolt mod it. Yep, there it goes. Same thing. So that was not the, it definitely helped, but it's still, it didn't fix the issue. So let's go ahead and take this thing all the way apart and I'm gonna follow iFixit's guide for the, the the bolt mod kit. Like they actually have a legitimate guide for it. So let's go ahead and do that step by step and see what they say. So down to the board now, I got the X clamps off, which are basically what holds these the heat sinks in place. And you see both heat sinks come off. They have like a little bit of thermal paste left. It's all dried up though. This is pretty much how every 360 ever looks. But uh, let's go ahead and hop into the iFixit guide now and see what it tells us to do next. So first thing the iFixit kit tells us to do here is remove the thermal paste from both the CPU and GPU and also the heat sinks. So I'll remove that and then I'll come back. I finally got all the thermal paste off and next step in iFixit's guide actually says to that they recommend to, to reflow the processors with a heat gun, which I'm not going to do because it could possibly fix the issue if you had the three lights on the red ring of death, but I only have the two, which is overheating. So there's probably not any broken solder joints on, uh, on either of these chips here. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step, which says to flip the motherboard over and we're going to go ahead and remove the thermal pads that are existing here. Next step, it says to go ahead and remove these little uh, posts right here. Basically what we'll do is remove these posts and then the bolts will go straight into these posts through the motherboard. And that's kind of what will clamp the, <laughs> the heat sink into place of the motherboard. So let's go ahead and remove these posts here. All right, so basically actually the included screwdriver tool, you just twist like so. All right, so as you can see, got all the posts off. That was a pretty easy step there to just get those off. Now next up, we'll go ahead and apply a thermal paste because that's what it says to do next. And we're gonna use their included thermal paste. I'm not really sure if it's good thermal paste or not, but I would imagine it's at least decent if they're sending it out. The way I like to do it on 360 is to apply a little, just like a, a small bead right in the middle of the processor. Same thing there, a little bead. And this one's gonna be a little tiny bead because it's a tiny chip. All right, so next up, it says to take the bolts and go ahead and just stick them through all of the holes here and then we'll put some washers on. All right, we got all the washers on there. Next up, we need to actually put the heat sinks on here. And, and the funny thing here is it says, don't be afraid to over tighten the screws. The pressure between the heat sinks and the processors caused by sufficiently torqued screws is needed to squeeze the processors back on the board. And that's true, but you don't wanna go too crazy with it because 
you could break the processors even more by squeezing these. <laughs> all right, guys, I think I'm finally done here. I got all eight bolts on the bottom. You can see I got them tightened up. I didn't go too crazy with it. That whole process was a pain in the butt because the screws and the, the washers were just flying everywhere. Let's go ahead and check out the next step here. All right, so next step, it wants us to apply these two little black heat sinks it gave me. Basically, just peel off the bottom, and we're going to stick them on that chip and that chip right there. I already cleaned them off with some isopropyl alcohol, so it should adhere a little bit better. And yeah, pretty easy process. Just stick it down, make sure it sticks. And the next step, they're going to have us put the thermal pads back onto the bottom. So they give us some new ones here. These things are actually kind of satisfying to peel apart. They just, uh, I don't know, they're kind of... Kind of squishy. All right, well, we got those installed now. We have all the heat sinks installed. Let's go ahead and stick this back in the chassis, plug it in, and see if that fixed anything. All right, guys, everything's plugged back in. Moment of truth. Will this thing turn on? Three, two, one. All right, so the fan's going crazy. We're actually booted up, though, now. Uh, before, it was red ringing after, like, five seconds, and we've been on for, like, half a half a minute now. But we're scrolling around here, and, of course, there's nothing. Oh, whoa. Oh, no, dude. Come on, man. It partially fixed it. All right, seriously, though, the last thing I'm going to try here is to... Uh, really torque it down like it kind of specified. I'm just gonna basically torque it as much as I can and <laughs> See if that changes anything. All right, let's try this again. Got this torqued down more Let's turn it on and see what it does. So it's turned on and I'm, I'm scrolling around again But pretty much immediately the fans went to full speed, but uh, we can just go around I guess I'll just leave it on for a minute and see how long I can play this thing without it uh, but rain. <laughs> All right guys Well, I'm gonna call this bolt mod a success. We've been running the console for like seven or eight minutes now it's still running. I'm playing a game. Now, of course, this is a combo of the bolt mod, new thermal paste, and blowing out the dust. So, so just don't do the bolt mod at home. I, I don't recommend it. It's going to warp your board over time, and it's, it's really just a temporary fix, uh, kind of just like a Band-Aid. But it is working for now. I'll put a note on the screen of how long this console actually lasts. Um, but, of course, you can see I'm playing without an issue now, and it's, the fans are working over time, but we'll ignore that. And, <laughs> guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.